Welcome folks, nice to see you on this Thursday lunchtime. Hope you're all well. As usual, the words for today are in the description box below. And if you want to contact us, we in studio for the others. Let's calm our minds and let's get going. Let us say together. No one has seen God. God's only Son, who is nearest to the Father's heart, has made him know. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hear us, Shepherd of Israel, you who lead Joseph like a flock, you who sit enthroned between the cherubim, shine forth. Awaken your night, come and save us. Restore us, O God, Make your face shine on us, that we may be saved. Today's Psalm, Psalm 20. Psalm 20. May the Lord answer you when you are in distress. May the name of God, O Jacob, protect you. May he send you help from the sanctuary and grant you support from Zion. May he remember all your sacrifices and accept your burnt offerings. May he give you the desire of your heart and make all your plans succeed. We will shout for joy when you are victorious and will lift up our banners in the name of our God. May the Lord grant all your requests. Now I know that the Lord saved his anointed. He answers him from his holy heaven with the saving power of his right hand. Some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we trust in the name of the Lord our God. They are brought to their knees and fall, but we rise up and stand firm. O Lord, save the king, answer us when we call. Shall we say the prayer that Jesus taught us? The Lord prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever. Amen. We'll continue through the Gospels. <clears throat> We're on John 1, verses 29 to 34. The next day, John saw Jesus coming towards him and said, Look, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world. This is the one I meant when I said, A man who comes after me has surpassed me, because he was before me. I myself did not know him, but the reason I came baptizing with water was that he might be revealed to Israel. Then John gave his testimony. I saw the Spirit come down from heaven as a dove and remain on him. I would not have known him except that the one who sent me to baptize with water called me. The man on whom you see the Spirit come down and remain is he who will baptize with the Holy Spirit. I have seen, and I testify, that this is the Son of God. <clears throat> Shall we pray together? God, our hope, we rejoice that you became flesh, and made your dwelling among us, and we long for your return. As we wait for your coming again, and for the end of sorrows being ended, we are bold to ask 
in the name of Jesus, for your kingdom is endured among us now. Lead us by the burden of your spirit to pray for ourselves and our suffering world. And now for a time of silent prayer, and you can pray for the things which are on your heart. We pray in silence. Shall we pray together? Eternal God, for whom all people wait and search, even when they do not know it, open the eyes of the blind that they might see you. Open our eyes that have been closed by fear or blinded by self-pity, that we might see you, even in the anxiety and uncertainties of our time. And in seeing you, we grow comforted by your presence and made uncomfortable enough to seek to serve you. Who is and was and is to come. Amen. Eternal God, you have said before us the great thing that your kingdom will come on earth and have taught us to pray for its coming. Make us ready to thank you for the signs of its dawning and to pray and work for the perfect day when your will shall be done on earth as it is in heaven. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. May God himself, the God of peace, sanctify you through and through. May your whole spirit, soul and body we kept blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. The one who calls you is faithful, and he will do it. Amen. Thanks again, God, for listening to our prayers today. Hopefully we'll see you all again soon. Bye for now. <laughs>